Coach Neil Alexander now joining us here after this one. And Coach, a, a tough one to lose. You never want to lose a uh, conference game at home. And uh, tonight was a game where it just didn't seem like the team was in sync. Well, they make you play like that. They get up in you. And they use their strength and quickness and, and force you away. And unless you do the little things, uh, you know, you have a hard time with teams like this. And, uh, you know, they were very, they executed, they defended. Um, they've done a nice job. They were very physical on our guys. And, uh, you know, there for a spell, I thought we adjusted. But you got to be able to play 32 minutes. You've got to be able to play uh, 32 minutes. This is like a... Uh, you know, a regional game, sectional game. Uh, it's it's going to get that physical, and until we get down and want to play against that physicalness and not let us uh, bother us, we'll, we'll, we're we're going to struggle. Yeah, coach, we've seen this, um, you know, last year a little bit, and then this year too of, of guards really pressuring us and, and using their bodies. We do, we don't get a lot of cuts through the lane, um, just hanging on us. And if the refs, uh, you know, don't seem to want to call out of it, then uh, we've given that's given us fits. What do, what do you and the Railers, what do you have to do to, to get better at that? Well, we just got to work at it. You know, we, we uh, try to give our sophomores to get up on our guys and hold a little bit if we can, and we got to be able to fight through it. But uh, it's hard for us to simulate uh, anything such as that pressure that we saw or what we'll see tomorrow night. Uh, you have to be able to, to, to see it day in and day out, and, uh, you know, we don't. Uh, it's hard to do. Uh, we, we may have one kid as quick as what they had, five or six on the floor. But, uh, you know, uh, I thought we had some shots that didn't go down. But by the time you get a look, wide open look after they've been hanging on you all got night, it's a little bit tougher. And, uh, you know, they made us shoot as poorly as we did. And they defended. And, you know, we didn't get a stop there at the end of the game. Coach, uh, Mark Gilchrist, a senior, it seems like he's given the Railers fits for years and years. And here at the end of the contest, uh, he was able to make the big plays when Springfield needed him to. Yeah, you know, he hit the three, which, you know, we, we didn't want to happen. And, uh, you know, you got to be able to get up on him and not allow him to. You want him to, to be able to. But he's a hard guard guy to guard because he's great at 15 to 12 to 15 feet as well as being able to hit the three. And, you know, we... Uh, we just didn't cover it up very well, and, uh, you know, we, we didn't play defensively the way we have to. I, I just, you know, we only gave up 40, what, 43, 44 points, but, um, you know, we, we gave up a lot of easy ones, and we, we've got to be able to fight. Yeah, Coach, down 12 in, uh, in the third quarter, very easily the Railers could have, uh, you know, packed it away, and, and Springfield could have extended that lead, but uh, I guess one positive, if you want to come out of it, that, uh, you know, the Railers showed some heart and came back. We got some, we had a couple big threes, and uh, were able to draw some fouls, and, uh, you know, we didn't hit a couple free throws, but all in all, a good comeback, just uh, not quite enough. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we were one short, but it doesn't matter, one, three, five, eight, uh, you know, uh, you, you, you got to be able to score more than they do, and uh, they defended very well, and, uh, you know, we, we still got uh, a lot, a lot of work to do. Coach, the uh, play at the end after Gilchrist uh, made the shot, and uh, is, it, is it something that you have set up at the end that on a score, try to catch their defense off guard and try and rush it up the court and see what shot you can get? Well, you're better off, you know, in my opinion. You know, some other people may think differently, but, uh, you know, you got them spread out. Uh, you know, you, you got to be able to attack it and be able to get down and get you a good shot. And I think we, when they made the shot, there was eight or nine seconds. And, again, they made the defensive stop at the end of the game, and we didn't. So, you know, that's, that's the difference in the game. Yeah, Coach, and when Jordan Nelson... They, when the opponent has a defender that can stay with him, uh, Jordan only uh, with 13 on, you know, off his average, of course. Uh, what are the other Railers got to do, and, and how can you get him involved in doing some more things to uh, to kick? You know, we saw some penetration and kick to a shooter. Uh, those are the things that he's got to have, especially, you know, you're going to see great defenders tomorrow night and just as good defenders on him uh, for the rest of the season. Well, they're going to belly up on him, and they're not going to let him have any looks. And, uh, you, you know, uh, he, he's got to go to a point guard mentality and be able to set our guys up and, and do that. And uh, then the scoring will be there. And, you know, when he hit his shots tonight, he was kind of in the, you know, he was in the flow of the offense and, and looked for the things that, uh, you know, that we look for. But, uh, you know, when we thought don't take good shots, we really struggle because we don't have anybody rebounding, which is not a strong point of ours anyway. Uh, but... Uh, 
you know, it, it's just a work in progress right now, and uh, uh, this could hopefully be a good lesson for us that, uh, you know, teams are going to play us hard, and if we don't want to fight back, uh, you know, this is going to happen. Coach, uh, talk a little bit about uh, the play of Jordan Gesner tonight. He took advantage of the uh, the defensive focus on Jordan Nelson, got the open shots, uh, wasn't afraid to take him, and finished with a career high 18. Yeah, you know, he, he could set and shoot, and, you know, if you get him in rhythm and things, and he was in rhythm. Uh, he made a great play to start the game. That they're, they're, they're de or They've had the over and back, and then the guy jogged after the ball, and Jordan hustled his butt down and picked one up, and he, he got a layup, and... and you know, that was just a great hustle play, and, uh, you know, I think he had our first seven, and, you know, he hit some good shots, and, you know, our guys should get wide open looks with as much attention as, uh, you know, Smitty's getting and, and Jordan. Tomorrow night, 6.30, Coach, another tough one on the road at Southeast, and uh, they've had our number here in the last couple of years, and uh, no different. They finished second at Collinsville, and uh, you're going to see a lot of more pressure, a lot more shooters, and uh, some guys that really get after it. Yeah, they're a good basketball team, and, uh, you know, it, it, we'll really uh, have to go down and defend and cover. we got to cover the arc tomorrow night. Uh, tonight it was more of an inside game with Wiley and uh, uh, Elon inside there, and, uh, you know, tomorrow night it shifts to the outside, but they've also got guys that can get to the basket. Uh, they're a very good basketball team. Uh, you know, I think they have the potential to get to the uh, to the Final Four. Uh, they're that good. Uh, you know, and then you throw the fact in that Springfield's in our regional, so this is a big game for us. You know, we, we end up losing this, and and uh, I, I'm not sure we play Springfield before the seeding meeting again. Uh, so that's going to come into play when we start doing the seeding. Now the next uh, contest at Springfield is February the 5th, so that may be right. That'll be close. Right. We might get that one in, but it's at Springfield and throw uh, two losses to Springfield on top of that, and then you're 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 you know you're messing with a two and three seed, and and uh, you know you're going to get Springfield, laugh here. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know they're all good uh, in our regional. We we got. We got no cupcake in our regional, and we're going to have to play two good games, and just hopefully we don't have to play a third. All right, Coach, we will let you go, and uh, back on the road uh, tomorrow night down at Southeast, uh, the early start with the 6.30 tip time. Hopefully the Railers can uh, rebound from this one tonight and uh, pull off a win down there tomorrow night. Well, we're going to have to shoot it well. We're going to have to play much better than we did tonight, and, uh, you know, they, uh, they're they going to be hungry. Uh, you know, they've got a streak going, and they got, they got a good basketball team. They're very well coached. Uh, they have a goal. Uh, they, you know, they play together. They work together. They, they have no intent or don't worry about who's doing what. And, uh, their number one goal as a group is to win. And, uh, you know, they're a very aggressive basketball team. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to go down there and play a very special 32 minutes. All right, Coach, uh, try and get one tomorrow night, and we'll see you down in Springfield. Okay. Railers uh, fall tonight, 43-42. We'll be back in a few moments to wrap it up. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball. <laughs>